Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My mom is pressuring Maine to choose between my boyfriend and her because of his family. Now I'm pregnant and torn between them. I'm Lily, a 19-year-old college student, and I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend Jake, also 19, for over a year now. I am three months pregnant. Our story began in high school, where we met and quickly became inseparable. But life had different plans for us. Jake's passion for mechanics led him to pursue his dream of opening his own business specializing in luxury cars, which meant he had to move about four to five hours away from our hometown. Despite the distance, our love remained strong, and I fully supported Jake's decision to chase his dreams. We made it work, spending weekends together and cherishing every moment we had. However, things weren't as smooth as I had hoped. The real challenge came from Jake's father, who didn't seem to take a liking to me. Behind my back, he would make hurtful comments and remarks that cut deep. It was as if he didn't see me as worthy of his son or his family's legacy. I confided in my mother about these incidents, hoping for support and understanding. My relationship with my mother has always been close, but it has its complexities. She's fiercely protective of me, which sometimes translates into being overly critical of my choices. However, when it comes to Jake and his family's treatment of me, she's been nothing but supportive. She sees the disrespect for what it is and doesn't hesitate to stand by my side. Additionally, my mother's fears and concerns take precedence over my own interests, even though she only wants the best for me. Conversely, Jake is my confidant, my co-conspirator, and the only person who truly gets me. However, the personalities of his family provide a level of complication to our relationship that we both find difficult to manage. As I stand at this crossroads, torn between the love I have for Jake and the pressure from my mother to reevaluate a relationship, I can't help but wonder what the future holds for us. But one thing is certain. I refuse to let anyone, not even Jake's father or my own mother, dictate the path of my heart. I thought back to the day when I sat across from my boyfriend's family at the dinner table, trying not to sulk while they traded barely concealed jabs, and I was unable to get rid of the uneasy feeling that had taken hold of me. Even though I had felt uncomfortable with them before, tonight it seemed very obvious. Under the table, my boyfriend Jake reached for my hand and gave me a non-verbal reassurance that everything would be all right. However, the tension that pervaded the air like a dense mist could not be dispelled by his consoling touch. Whatever shell of civility I tried to maintain was pierced by his family's judgmental glances and passive-aggressive remarks, which felt like daggers. I had never been able to pinpoint exactly what it was that Jake's mother didn't like about me, but it was evident that I didn't meet her expectations. Perhaps it was my background, my upbringing, or simply the fact that I wasn't the type of woman she had envisioned for her son. I responded to Jake's attempt at conversation in a hurried and forced manner. I was plagued by a persistent sense that my every move and word was being closely examined and evaluated. Eventually, dinner came to an end, and we made our excuses to leave. As we stepped out into the cool night air, I let out a sigh of relief, feeling as though a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. But even as we walked hand in hand towards the car, I couldn't shake the nagging sense of unease that lingered within me. The drive home was quiet, the tension between us palpable. I knew that Jake could sense my unease, could feel the weight of his family's disapproval pressing down on us both. But for now, neither of us dared to speak of it, afraid of what the conversation might entail which could further darken the mood. As we pulled into the driveway of my home, I could feel a sense of dread wash over me. It was because I would have to face my own mother soon enough, and I dreaded the thought of another confrontation. Therefore, all I wanted was to escape into the safety of my own room away from the prying eyes and judgmental whispers. The following day, the tension in the air was palpable as I sat across from my mother, her disapproving gaze fixed on me like a spotlight. We were in the familiar surroundings of our living room, but the atmosphere felt heavier than usual, weighed down by the unspoken tension between us. The room was heavy with tension as my mother's voice began, carrying an urgency that sent a shiver down my spine. I knew what was coming, and I braced myself for the impending storm. She wasted no time in getting straight to the point. I've been thinking a lot about you and Jake, she said, her words laced with a hint of disdain. And I can feel that this relationship isn't good for you. I felt a knot form in the pit of my stomach as her words hit me like a punch to the gut. I had anticipated her disapproval, but hearing it out loud still stung. I struggled to find the right words to defend my relationship, to make her understand the depth of my feelings for Jake, but why? Mom, I finally managed to choke out, my voice betraying the hurt and confusion swirling inside me. Jake is a good person, and he makes me happy. Isn't that all that matters? My mother's expression softened slightly, but her resolve remained yielding. It's not just about Jake, Lily, it's about his family too, she replied, her tone firm. I've heard the way his father talks about you, the way they treat you. You deserve better than that, sweetheart. Her words touched an emotional level, dredging up memories of past encounters with Jake's father and the hurtful remarks he had made. I couldn't deny the truth in my mother's words, but I also couldn't ignore the love I felt for Jake, despite his family's shortcomings. I know it's not ideal, Mom, I admitted, my voice trembling with emotion. But I love Jake, and I believe we can overcome these obstacles together, my mother's expression softened. Her eyes filled with a mixture of sympathy and concern. I know you do, Lily, she said gently, reaching out to take my hand in hers. But sometimes love isn't enough. You have to think about your future, about what's best for you in the long run, her words made me feel torn inside. Part of me wanted to please my mother, listen to her advice, and shield myself from more pain. But another part couldn't imagine leaving Jake, the one who's always been by my side, no matter what. Sitting there, torn between my family and Jake, I wondered if I could make both sides happy without giving up my own happiness. But right now, I didn't have the answers. I felt overwhelmed by the choices ahead and unsure about the future. The discovery of my pregnancy came as both a shock and a blessing. I had suspected for a while but it wasn't until I missed my period for the third time that I finally mustered the courage to take a test. As the two red lines appeared, confirming my suspicions, 
a wave of emotions washed over me. I became really scared and unsure when I found out I was pregnant, especially because I don't get along well with Jake's family. I wondered how they would take the news. Or would they continue to think I'm not good enough for their son and dislike me even more because a baby is coming? These worries filled my head, making it hard for me to be happy about having a baby. Instead of being excited about starting a family with Jake, I felt a deep fear. The pregnancy made it even harder to decide what to do about my relationship and the issues with our families. I wanted to keep my baby safe from any bad vibes from Jake's family. But I also loved Jake and I felt our connection grow stronger with this news. The decision I faced was no longer just about me and Jake, it was about the future of our child and what kind of environment we wanted to bring them into. But for now, I had no answers. Only a growing sense of apprehension about what lay ahead. When I needed someone to talk to, I naturally went to my best friend Sarah. We've been through a lot together, and I really trust her advice. I told her everything about my tough situation, including the problems with Jake's family and finding out I was pregnant. Sarah listened intently, her brow furrowed in concern as I recounted the turmoil that had consumed me in recent months. She offered words of comfort and support, reassuring me that no matter what decision I made, she would stand by me every step of the way. But the more we talked about my problem, the harder it seemed to find a simple solution. Sarah's suggestions didn't quite match what I wanted, which made me even more confused and stressed. She told me to think about my own happiness and my baby's future, but I felt bad about possibly letting down my family and Jake after talking to Sarah. I felt even more unsure about what to do, but I was still a bit hopeful that I'd be able to figure out the best choice for me and my baby in the end. After seeking advice from Sarah and mulling over our conversation for days, I found myself at a crossroads. Each path seemed fraught with uncertainty, yet I knew I couldn't remain stuck by indecision any longer. I had to make a choice. I came to the realization that I had to stop letting fear control my actions as I thought about my circumstances. Yes, the disapproval of Jake's family hovered over us like a black cloud, but I wasn't going to let it overpower our love or determine our family's course. The news of my pregnancy made me even more determined to support Jake and our unborn child through any challenges that may arise. With newfound determination, I knew I had to confront my mom and assert my autonomy and choices. I couldn't continue to let her control the course of my life, especially when it came to matters of the heart. Despite her doubts and disapproval, I found the strength to sit her down and share my views and feelings with her. I told my mom that, even though she wants the best for me, I have to make my own choices for my future. I explained that Jake and I will have our challenges, but I have faith in our love and our strength to get through anything together. My mother listened in silence, her expression unreadable as I poured my heart out to her. When I finished speaking, there was a moment of tense silence, as if the weight of my words hung in the air between us. But then, to my surprise, she reached out and took my hand in hers, her eyes softening with understanding. Mom told me she might not always like my choices, but she believes I know what's right for my future. She said this kindly, showing she accepted and supported me, which made me tear up. She gave me her blessing to go after what I want and make my own way wherever that takes me. With those words, a weight lifted off my shoulders and I felt a sense of freedom and empowerment wash over me. I had finally asserted my autonomy and claimed ownership of my choices, and it felt like the first step towards building the future I had always dreamed of. In the days and weeks that followed, Jake and I faced our fair share of challenges and obstacles. But with each hurdle we cleared, our bond grew stronger, our love more resilient. Together, we took steps toward building a future filled with hope and promise, knowing that no matter what lay ahead, we had each other and our unborn child to guide us through. And as we looked towards the horizon, hand in hand, I knew that with love and determination, we could overcome anything that stood in our way. As I sit here reflecting on the tumultuous journey that has brought me to this moment, I can't help but marvel at how far I've come. From the uncertainty and fear that once plagued me to the newfound sense of empowerment and resilience that now courses through my veins, it's clear that I've grown and learned more than I ever thought possible. Through the trials and tribulations of navigating my relationship with Jake and the challenges presented by his family, I've discovered strength within myself that I never knew existed. I've learned to trust my instincts, to stand firm in my convictions, and to embrace the uncertainty of life with courage and grace. But perhaps the most profound lesson I've learned is the importance of love. Not just romantic love, but the love and support of family and friends who stand by you through thick and thin. In Sarah, I found a confidante and a pillar of strength who helped me navigate the complexities of my situation with wisdom and compassion. And in my mother, I found acceptance and understanding a reminder that even in the face of adversity, Love has the power to bridge the divide and bring us closer together. Looking ahead, I see a future filled with hope and promise, despite the challenges that may lie in wait. With Jake by my side, I know that together we can weather any storm, overcome any obstacle, and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. Our love has been tested and tried, but through it all, it has only grown deeper and more steadfast a beacon of light guiding us through the darkness. As we prepare to welcome our child into the world, I'm really thankful for all the good things in our life. I'm excited for a future full of happiness and all the small, wonderful moments that show us how beautiful life is. When I think about looking into our baby's eyes, I'm sure we can handle any problems together with love leading us. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.